show business, ladies they are and gentlemen. Fine, fine band. The right, Max Weinberg. Show business. You're a lucky man, Conan. They are. Man. They're an amazing band. Man. I think everyone should have a band like that playing yeah. when they're at war. They should. Everybody, everybody's job would be much better if they could just toss to a band at yeah, some point. Our, and music. Uh, Your job, they should work music into the nightly news. Well, we have we have the nightly news orchestra, but it's that same theme music over and over and over again. Uh, so uh, we don't have Max, you know. Yeah. You gotta have Max. I'll borrow him sometime. Okay. Uh, with his blessing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think that means... <laughs> Max and I, that's all how we communicate uh, in the hallway. Portions of the Lower East Side, you'd be in big trouble with yeah, one of Yeah, I probably yeah. would. Uh, you, uh, you were signed by NBC until, what year, 2002? Oh, I think it's like 3,000. <laughs> Uh, I think uh -huh. it says, or until death. I'm not yeah. sure. It's, uh, it's quite a while. It's 2002, which has this really neat... You yeah, know, a space odyssey. So yeah. uh, I'm very excited about it. The only downside is we work for GE, of course, and the compensation is all in appliances. And it's nice. <laughs> Tell me about it. You yeah. know, when you first join the company, it's nice. You know, thanks for the toaster oven. That's great. We've got now 68 food processors, and um, we've oh hell, we got enough dryers to do socks individually. We got. <laughs> One, got, they're little dryers. Yeah, we got 21 dryers going. We have a lint recycling team that works around the clock. Uh, they're great appliances, don't get me wrong, but uh, really the house is getting crowded. So now, now what, uh, what do you, I'm curious, what do you like? What do you like around the house? I mean, I just I, I've seen you on your nine different broadcasts. I know you from that, but but what do you like? What's Brian Williams the man like around the home? Are you an exciting man? I wear a lot of padding. Um, uh, I, uh, I watch uh, Ice Station Zebra on a continuous loop. <laughs> I don't You're know. attended yeah. to by Mormons? I, yeah. uh, I do yeah. what everybody else does, you know. I wake up and uh, turn on the TV, read the paper, and, and then I'm late for work. Um, <laughs> and I should be at work. I just, uh, I'm, I always should be somewhere else, mm -hmm. usually working. Are you saying you're, just, you're kind of just a normal guy? I'm There's a normal nothing... guy. Why, are you setting up some hidden camera tape now, or is this... Uh... <laughs> We have footage of you in a hotel room yeah, right. sleeping. Here Let's show that right now. <laughs> no, we have no, footage that's... of you being hit by a babysitter. Yeah. Yes, uh, that's impossible. Uh... <laughs> Is it something that... You're un un uh, having an unusually active evening. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I like you, Brian. Uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Can he call you Bri? Is that all right? We're, yeah, we're members of a men's club. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> I want no part of it. Uh, yeah. Now, I, I'm re this is what I'm really fascinated with. You are the heir apparent. And let's just not mince words. If anything happens to Brokaw, you move into that slide. Well, there's nothing We're official. This is, this is the musing of television columnists around the country. I mean, they wouldn't put that kind of stuff in writing. And, and I've got my own, as I keep saying, I've got my own world now over on cable and here. So I don't think that way. But go ahead. <laughs> but if anything were to happen to Tom? Well, chances are I'd be driving. <laughs> now don't tell me don't tell me you don't think about it sometimes you don't no, say I've, hey I've tom why don't you and i take a vacation in the rockies and then maybe one night you know you just lead him over to the edge of the cliff and isn't that a beautiful look i think i see a ram no, I've, been, I've been uh oh. i've been with him now i've been with him now for five years as driver and valet and uh <laughs> I've seen the private Tom, the non-public Tom. Uh-huh. Uh, he's a great guy. Nothing's ever going to happen to Tom as long as I'm in charge of his personal security. Very good. You do look kind of like a Secret Service guy, actually. Thank you very much. I'm actually wearing cufflinks given to me by the United States Secret Service, and these are these are great conversation pieces on airplanes. People usually switch to the next class of seating over because they're... Look at that. That's kind of cool. They Isn't see... the whole idea, though, of Secret Service that... They're not supposed to know that oh, you're these, Secret Service? I didn't say... Do I, they wear hats that say, I'm Secret Service? No. Did and I, aprons, you know, Secret Service make better lovers and stuff I, like did that? I, you know. Did I say these cufflinks existed? No, they don't exist. Um, uh, <laughs> well, Brokaw's not criminally insane. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you're starting to lose it. <laughs> uh, well, I think we should probably wrap things up about now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, got a broadcast. You've got to do one of your 15 shows to do very soon. minutes from now. Well, thank you uh, very much for coming from all your different shows to visit and us. You're the, the anchor and uh, managing editor of The News with Brian Williams, catchy title, on MSNBC and anchor of NBC Saturday Nightly News. Uh, Brian, thanks so much for coming thanks by. Thanks for having me. And thanks for that news tip. Hot off the wires, Brian Williams, everyone. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.